Welcome to the City of Sheridan Update. I'm Mayor Dave Kinski, and I'm happy to bring a new twist on the City of Sheridan Update to you, the Student Edition, a series of news reports brought to you entirely by elementary students shot and produced on their iPads with the able direction and assistance of Leon Schatz of Wayward Films with help from his assistant, Leah Clark. I know you are going to enjoy City of Sheridan Update Student Edition as much as I do. And with that, please enjoy the Student Edition. I'm here with Mr. Richard Wright to talk about our parks improvement. So, Mr. Wright, how can we improve our parks and make them more enjoyable and environmentally safe? You know, we really rely on the public a lot of times for uh, uh, public input, and uh, we do surveys and things like that. But basically, uh, what the community can do is uh, pick up trash. If something's broken, they can always call our number or the city of Sheridan's number and uh, let us know what's broken, and uh, we'll try to go ahead and get it fixed as soon as we can. What can the public do to improve their local parks? You know, I think support the park, your local parks and recreation district. Uh, you can talk to your city councilman, tell them how important parks and recreation are to you. And uh, financially, that'll help uh, with the budget. And if there's something out there that you'd really like to uh, see and improved, you can contact Chuck Carbert from the city uh, parks at 674-6483 or myself at the recreation district at uh, 674 6421 and uh, we will take it to our boards or city council and address those issues. Can we make our parks non-smoking? Why or why not? You know that's probably a tough question. It's probably be better suited for the police department. Uh, it is pretty much, uh, it would be really tough to enforce. We've talked about it before here in Sheridan uh, as being smoke free. We do ask people to step, uh, we do sign it and ask people to step away from the parks and the playground areas where there are children playing uh, to smoke and you could have designated smoking areas in parks, but to get it rid of it entirely would be really, uh, I don't know if it would be very practical. What is the most frequent request you get from public about the parks? I would probably say that the bathrooms aren't clean in the different facilities because it takes about 60 seconds to trash a restroom and it probably takes two hours to clean it. So uh, that's probably our, our most frequent complaint about the parks. If it happened to be another park, where would the best place be for it? You know, uh, Sheridan has an ordinance, a park ordinance, when a new subdivision goes in in town. Um, right now, the city of Sheridan has a park on the north end of town, the North Park area. They have a park on the south end of the, of the city. And uh, east and west really haven't been uh, designated as, as large park areas that would have 30 to 40 acres or more. So I would say uh, probably the newer subdivisions in town that being west of the city uh, and maybe really north of the city with the new North Park and all the improvements out there, that would be a good area for a park. And by a new school. If there's a new school built in an area of town, you always look to put a park next to it. How much work do you put into the local parks? What do you do with them? You know, maintaining is uh, mowing grass, fixing irrigation, sprinkler heads, uh, ir the irrigation is big, fertilizing them, just kind of like keeping your yard, weed eating, different things like that. Uh, Picking up trash every day is, seems to be uh, one of the things that it, it's actually gotten better over the last few years. But when people go into the parks, uh, we always ask them to leave it better than they found it. And uh, if there is trash there, uh, go ahead and pick it up, if, even if it's not yours. What do you do to make sure the parks are clean? You know, probably our biggest thing is ob observation. Uh, we drive around to the different parks, and uh, we do have a park foreman that uh, cleans restrooms as well as uh, other areas. Just talking to them daily, making sure that they're getting to all the different sites. And uh, also security is a big thing. We do lock some of the restrooms during non-use times at night after 10 o'clock. Uh, you're just asking kind of for trouble and vandalism by leaving those open. I know they're, they're talking about putting an ordinance down at Kendrick Park at 10 o'clock to get all the people out of there because really after a certain time of the day, nothing good happens after a certain Ryan, hour. what are your thoughts on the parks? 
Well, I think the city does a nice job keeping it clean, and at our school, the second graders go and plant flowers. It makes it look a, not, a lot nicer. Um, I enjoy going there and fishing sometimes. Stuff, you know. What would you like to change about our parks? I think there should be more playground equipment on all of the parks, not just some of them, like all of them. Thank you. Gigi, what do you usually do at the parks? Um... I sometimes clean up clean up garbage and litter, uh, but I mainly play there. What would you like to change about the parks? Um, there needs to be more slides. There needs to be more trees, more tables. Um, Thank you. Now that you have the inside story on the local Sheridan Parks, you can learn to further enjoy them and help us protect them for the future.